that's it. Circulation passing to the north of I-20. and it's connecting with the, the gust front. I'm in Rayville, tornado warning in effect. A couple little circulations, little eddies up and down this line. You can see the convective elements up in the shelf cloud as well. You can hear the stronger wind off to the southwest. More well-defined kink down there for that lowering. Live from Batonia. Mississippi in a tornado warning. There's a debris signature that's on the other side of this gust front, but a tornado warning, the entire small line is tornado warning all the way up. You can see these convective elements, little eddies will develop up and down the small line, and then they'll become a tornado on the back side of the small line, just behind the gust front as the occlusion process will happen. But you can definitely see massive rising motion along the gust front off to the north. Look at that. As the shelf cloud is surging, that could be a tornado-like whirl right on the edge. You can see it's pulling an inflow on the north side of that lowering, an RFD bulge right there. So that's gonna, gonna this kind of feature that these QLCS tornadoes will look like when they're forming, when they're developing. A little bit of some convection as well, just above it. Uh, but basically you just get a surge of westerly winds just on the south side of that circulation, and then it ramps up and becomes a tornado. There has been a debris signature down in this area approaching from the southwest. I just can't see it because that tornado is just behind the gust front. But this whole thing is tornado worn, capable of producing uh, very dangerous, destructive tornado-like vortices throughout the gust front. Uh, it really only, with a storm that's moving at 60 miles an hour, it really only requires a vortex with about 60 to 70 mile an hour winds to produce damaging, destructive tornadic wind speeds in a ground relative sense. And that's why we've already had an EF2 tornado confirmed in the Springdale, Arkansas area uh, earlier today and uh, very possible that spin-up tornadoes that are capable of strong damage, EF2 and greater damage, are very possible up and down this line. Uh, but I am monitoring the potential for tornadoes to develop within this squall line. I am in Batonia, about to head off to the south, and it looks like that's the area where the tornado would be, just over my shoulder. Stretching Scott up there. Oh, that's ripping. Look at that sky. Trying to get a little stretching underneath it. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. What an incredible dynamics. It's like a tornado cyclone off to the right. 